Castleton, nicknamed Gem of the Peaks, was developed from an original Iron Age settlement on nearby hill Mam Tor. The ground around here is the only source in the world of Blue Johnstone, which is so named from the French Bleu Jaune because of its distinctive blue and yellow streaked appearance. And I met up with master craftsman Edward Fisher, who works with the stone. Here in Derbyshire, at the back of Pindale, looking over towards Castleton. That's the Shivering Mountain. It's called that because it's all shale and it's moving all the time. In front of it, to the left, is just a little mountain there. It's called Tree Cliff, the only place in the world where Blue John is found. The rock, once mined, makes its way down the road to Bakewell, where Ed's master hands get to work. This is what I do. I make Blue John ornaments out of a piece of natural Blue John. How I'm going to achieve this is by sawing the crystallisation top off. I'm going to then form a, get, mark a circle on it and trim all this outsides off, then grind it into a circle and then shape the bowl how I want it to be shaped and then all of this, this part out. So we've got a nice bowl like that. That would take me somewhere between 150 to 200 hours to make, all it out, beautifully thin piece like that. I'm totally self-taught, I've designed all my own pieces, and it's just, just me. When they're finished, Ed takes them down the road to Bakewell's Antiques and Collectors Centre. I'm very fortunate to have this cabinet in Chapel's Antiques Centre. I really, really am proud of it. It's everything in this cabinet I've made by hand. I've had them here about four years now as I needed somewhere to display them, and where else can I display it? I know it's an antique centre, but it's, it's only, it, they are pieces, that, as I say, the same as were made in the late 1800s, and I'm, I'm doing that same traditional pieces. Because I've been doing this job for 35 years, I'm very well known in the area, and a lot of people find pieces that their granddad's had, or somebody's come along with it, and actually I've got some pieces at home that came out of a cell in Manchester. These, these are very interesting, these are, pieces of Blue John that I've just taken the natural shape of the Blue John and polished it so you can see the beauty in it. Now then you might think that's a bit expensive at £600 but I can assure you that's good value for money because that's taken me well over 50, 60 hours probably to make that. The largest piece, pieces take the most time because that is a big piece of stone and probably weighed about four or five pounds when I started that particular piece when it was rounded off. So I've wasted at least three pounds of material, all gone in dust. 